Spaghetti alla puttanesca, and I'm gonna show you the authentic recipe all the way from Italy, so let's do it. So pop a frying pan onto the hob and turn the heat to medium. Add a nice generous splash of olive oil to your pan. And the first ingredient, we need some anchovies. Chuck in five or six anchovies per person and then spend a minute to break that down as the oil heats up. Once the anchovies are pretty much dissolved into the oil, we need some garlic. Take some garlic cloves, smash them with the back of a knife, remove the skins, and today I'm using a garlic press. So pop a couple of cloves into the garlic press and crush those into the anchovies and the oil. Give the garlic a good stir through and give the anchovies and garlic a minute or two in the oil before we introduce the next ingredient, some lovely capers. Chuck in about two or three teaspoons of capers. Give everything a really good stir. And next we need some olives. If you have olives with stones, just spend a minute to remove the stones. Give the olives a little tap with the back of a knife and then pop out the stones. And then you wanna chuck a handful of your olives into the pan. Give everything a really good stir through. And next we want some tinned plum tomatoes. Chuck in a tin of your tomatoes, and as soon as they're in there, spend a minute to mash them up with the knife. Break up the tomatoes, give everything a really good stir through. Give it a taste, and if you wish, add a touch of sea salt and some freshly ground black pepper. And we just wanna cook out the sauce for about eight to 10 minutes. And after eight to 10 minutes, give or take, just remove the sauce from the heat and let that sit aside for a few moments while we cook our pasta. Pop a saucepan onto the hob, turn the heat up high and pour in some boiling water. Heavily season your water, we want it as salty as the sea. And then we're gonna need some good quality dried spaghetti. Chuck your spaghetti into the water and we wanna cook it for two minutes less than it says on the packet. We want it nice and al dente and we're gonna finish the pasta in the sauce. Give it a stir, simmer away and then taste a bit of your pasta just to make sure that it's nicely al dente. And when you're all good, pop the pasta aside, put your puttanesca sauce back on the heat and then chuck in some of your spaghetti give it a good stir through and a toss in the sauce and very quickly guys if you could just subscribe to the channel below and give the video a like if you're enjoying it now we need some parsley so take a handful of your parsley and quickly dice that up really nice and fine and then we want to scatter some of our parsley into the puttanesca give it another good stir through give it another good toss in the pan and we want to go in with a little splash of the pasta water. So pour in a ladle or so of your pasta water, one more good toss, one more good mixing through, and next we want to take a plate and pile your puttanesca onto the plate, and we want to finish with another scattering of your fresh diced parsley. And there we have a true classic from Naples, cooked the authentic way, just like an Italian. So get in the kitchen, get cooking, give this one a try, and I'll see you next time.